Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Haiku Friday. A uh, little delay there. I think we're live. If not, I'll just do this whole thing over again. <laughs> hey, welcome. Looks like my camera got bumped a little bit. Oop, there we go. Um, welcome to Haiku Friday, my friends. We have uh, a bunch of haikus for you, as you might expect for Haiku Friday. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's the kind of thing you would expect from Haiku Friday. Uh, okay. Sorry, a little rough start here, but you know, I think a rough start means this is just going to be a great one. So the first one is from Beth. When enjoying art, is it gauche to admit I covet your sweater? Well, not at all, Beth. Now, last week I had a really nice sweater on, I have to admit, and it's from Peru, uh, Peru the country. And um, I would like to say that it's alpaca fur, and that's what they said it was. But when we were leaving from the airport, our friends and uh, me and Sarah leaving from the airport, I saw a box and it said something like uh, alpaca sweaters and was being shipped in from someplace, which are what I would assume is China. And um, there may be some alpaca wool, but I think it's mostly polyester, but I don't want to ruin the illusion. Thank you, Beth. I appreciate it. Um, and from now on, I will beware of kleptomaniacal cardigan coveters. So thank you for that, Beth. Now, this next one is from our buddy Rico-san. Now, Rico-san, usually, there's usually a mysterious backstory to some of these. Not usually, but sometimes that happens. Now, in this case, it was a pretty funny one. And then we talked about it a little bit back and forth over emails and he said, you know what, you've got my permission to give the backstory to the haiku. So I'm gonna give the backstory first to set things up. Now Rico-san says he was shipping a package, uh, uh, FedEx, and he was doing it from the Radio Shack in Colville. And the young uh, patriot behind the counter, <laughs> Rico-san says, was on his phone. And his phone had a cover that said, let's go Brandon on it which prompted this, these questions to the young man, the young patriot, patriot uh, behind the counter. Rico-san said, who is this Brandon? I questioned the patriot. Where is he off to? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, the Brandon bubble people and the people who, uh, have um, the people who would tell you they go to church every Sunday or Christians or whatever that fly flags that say the full word, but F you Biden on them or put them in front of their houses. Who, what has become of people? I think I've written haikus about that before, but it's scary what people have become, the monsters that they have become. Okay. Thank you, Rico-san, lovely. And thanks for the benefit of a backstory because, you know, um, it's, I think we could have figured it out, but I think it really uh, colored the encounter even better and made it funnier. So thanks for that. Now we have a couple from simply a friend. Mother, let me start, my voice kind of cracked there a little bit. Mother and father, brother, sister, kind strangers, loving spirit guide. Mm, so pretty. Thank you, a friend. Second one from a friend. Rain, too seldom seen. Father's kiss on fevered brow. Gaia gifting earth. Oh, so pretty. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, we received Ericus. You know, Ericus usually sends me a slew of haikus, a haiku slew. And um, this time he only sent one, 
but he also said I could dip that back into the, the well of the ones that he's sent, sent recently. So I did that. But the first one is the one he sent this week. As it requires some knowledge of the songs mentioned in it. Queen wrote the first line. Neil Young was the second. He says, it's not pretty. How love of my life became down by the river. Dangerous journey. Ooh, yeah. Right on, Ericus. And uh, I, hope that, I hope that wasn't a referral to the band journey at the end, because that'd be a really weird turn. Okay. Um, second one from Ericus. But I think... Even though it was written a week or so ago, I think it holds well with the first one. Edgy and anxious. The coffee stains on my brain. No milk can whiten. Nice. Nice. Uh, here's mine. It's a, it's a bit of a downer. I have to admit, you know, I've been running a lot, trying to prepare for... Um, a 50 miler, which I don't know when or where or what it's going to be this summer, but I do want to run 50 miles. And um, I'm just out there running a lot. And, you know, it kind of wears me down. It's weird. It's almost like a, uh, I don't know if it's uh, like something that helps mental illness or something which is deepening mental illness. I'm not really sure, but I can get kind of down out there, actually. When I'm done, I'm really happy, but these are super long miles. So a thought of mine is I've been running about. Bittersweet springtime. Hopeful sprouting seems to mock the end of it all. All right. That was Haiku Friday for this day after St. Patrick's Day, March 18th, 2022. I hope you all had a great St. Patrick's Day. Um, Sarah and I ate leftovers. We are uh, abstaining from alcohol for Lent, even though we're not really churchgoers anymore. We decided to use Lent as a way to, uh, to mark not using alcohol for 40 days. And I have to say... Um, I've not really wanted a drink. I have, it's not really been on my radar at all, which is weird. I kind of thought it would be a lot more difficult, but I don't know. Maybe I've always walked that thin line of kind of uh, drinking enough, uh, but not too much. Maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. That'd be a good thing because I don't have any plans to continue this after Lent. Uh, although I feel pretty good, so maybe I will. I don't know. Man, my hair is uh, kind of flat, needs to be washed today. All right. Thanks for tuning in to Haiku Friday, everybody. Um, love you. Um, thanks for uh, watching. Go to haikufriday.com and you can send your haikus in that way or leave them in your con the comment section here. You know, there's so many ways to do this. And, um, but remember, haiku is pretty easy. Five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. And if you don't even, if you just throw something together and call it a haiku, I'll read that too. You know, uh, I just like, I think making art is what we've got to do. It's probably the only thing that's going to change, change the world for the better at this point. Okay, love you guys. Thanks a lot. And I will...